the device assigns priorities to the alarms. An alarm always consists of an alarm message and an acoustic alarm signal. The alarm message is highlighted with the corresponding number of exclamation marks. A high priority alarm is highlighted by three prefixed exclamation marks. The alarm indicator flashes red. The acoustic alarm signal consists of five tones, repeated twice about every six seconds. A medium priority alarm is highlighted by two prefixed exclamation marks. The alarm indicator flashes yellow. The acoustic alarm consists of three tones, repeated about every eight seconds. A low priority alarm is highlighted by one prefixed exclamation mark. The acoustic alarm signal consists of two tones, sounded only once. To silence acoustic alarm signals, press the alarm silence key. The alarm indicator remains active and all current acoustic alarm signals are silenced for about two minutes. The LED in the yellow key field remains lit during this time. New alarms with a higher priority than that of the silenced alarms override the alarm tone suppression and thus are indicated by a one-time acoustic alarm signal. After the two minutes, all acoustic alarm signals are reactivated and the LED in the yellow key field goes out. To set the alarm limits for airway pressure, respiratory rate, minute volume, CO2 or alarm volume in operation mode, touch the alarm settings button. Depending on the selected options, the following settings can be made. For the respiratory rate, the upper alarm limit. For the minute volume, the upper alarm limit and lower alarm limit. For the end tidal CO2 concentration, if the CO2 sensor cable is connected, the upper and lower alarm limit. The current value is displayed between the alarm limits. The setting principle is Select Adjustment with the rotary knob Confirm with the rotary knob With the button Alarm Volume, the alarm volume can be set in a range from 25 to 100%. The button Auto Set enables the upper and lower alarm limits to be set automatically.